and let's try to kill this one. Because we've gotten so much stronger from uh, that last battle, so let's see if we can kill at least one glitch. We did it! That 1000 damage thing is so OP. Hello everyone, my name is Joe and welcome to today's video. Today, we're playing part 3 of Five Nights at Freddy's World. This is our party, and this is the last character that we got, and he's pretty OP, uh, mostly the Endo Army attack. But anyways, uh, let's go where we left off, huh? So, we were just here, we took uh, this, uh, which is the button that opened the passageway, and we're gonna start by going to our fourth, uh, fourth area, which is Lily Gear Lake. Let's go. So, we go on a boat. Also, <laughs> just because I like to mention this over and over again, this game is extremely cute. Even though it's so random, I really like it. I'm enjoying it these, uh, these episodes. So, I can't go here. But, uh, so where's the boss? So, these are the new enemies. They're really weird. Oh, uh, that's my cat in the background. <laughs> Anyways, so let's go from here and get to this land. So, I guess here is the glitched object right here, but we're not going to enter it yet. Of course, we're, uh, we need to see what we have. And let's see what's over here. So, uh, there's a mine right here, uh, let's go check it out. So, this is the place we can go from here. So, there's nothing here. Then we can go to this direction. And here is that weird thing here, which I don't really know what it is. I do want to check it out, but I don't want now. And looks like there's a lot bit. I want to see what uh, uh, what item or what bite uh, does she uh, sell. Uh, so let's go and check her out. I've also noticed that there is uh, what these shields block base damage from all attacks. That is super useful. But I'm gonna take five for now. So I'm gonna take out all of these, I'm gonna take you, 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 and you. As I was saying, I've noticed that there is no boss in this mine. Like, look, you can see the ways that you can go through, and I don't think there is any sort of boss right here. Even though that's weird, uh, that's a weird thing, and I'll check it out later. And let's make our way out. Anyways. Uh, aside from that mine, uh, let's go and see. I really want to find th the key for that, but uh, there's nothing that it leads to. But anyways, he's, uh, Fredbear said that uh, uh, the boss, which is, I guess, an octopus, will appear randomly. There's no specific place for him. There's also that thing right there, and I want to... Also, that's a portal. What does it lead to, uh, to, though? Pinwheel Circus. What is that? There's a lot bit here. These UFOs shoot lasers for very high damage. Yes. Uh, if it does for very high damage, I'm gonna pro uh, replace it with that. Aside from that note, look at this place. And what are those laser beams? And what is that? Uh, like, I don't know what it is. I think it's an owl or something. What is that thing? Why is there lasers protecting it? So, this is the button right here. I guess it will open the passageway. What the heck are these things? Are these like balloon boys? Ball boy. Very creative name. They look creepy. Look, look at his face. What's that? Aside from that, 
let's go back where we left off. And uh, this chest that gives you 10 money or 50 money for gold chests, these like appear everywhere. Like when you get out of the place, it respawns again. But anyways, let's look for that, uh, that boss. I found this passage and is that like the next area? It l looks like a graveyard. Yup, this is the next area, because here is the button, and here is Fredbear. So, yeah, this is the next area. Oh, there he is! Whoa, he looks so creepy! Oh my god, I do so much damage! That eye uh, laser uh, says that it can do um, uh, critical damage, uh, and I think that health was the critical damage. You know what? These and the mines gave me 750. You gave me only 600. Anyway, since we fought the boss and uh, I didn't find anything else, so I guess let's get in the, uh, the glitched object, shall we? But anyways, guys, while I'm going into this subtunnel, I really want to talk to you, and I really want to thank you on all the feedback that you gave me. I started this channel, and uh, I really, I was really happy to start it. Uh, and, um, like, start making content and have everyone uh, happy and watch it. Uh, and I'm really happy for all the feedback that you're giving me. And, uh, let's see if this portal is the one. And now it's wrong. Ooh, here's a gold chest. Anyways, uh, this route was uh, wrong, so we'll take this one. Uh, last time we went into another subtunnel, so I guess... Uh, there's also a sub, uh, another subtunnel here, and I'm going to. Yep, there it is. Think you're gonna be sneaky, huh? Uh, I don't. Uh, I really think that uh, that what he said, Fredbear, is an ending. Is that glitch again? No. Anyways, when uh, Fredbear said that. Uh, you can't go under three subtunnels because you can't find your way out. So I guess that's an ending, and I really want to try that. Anyways, so we made it, and let's talk to Fredbear, shall we? This is a horribly spooky place. I think I'll stay right here. <laughs> you, however, need to keep going. This is a graveyard for broken and unwanted creations. It's full of nastiness and traps. Well, I didn't know that. I didn't. Uh, I don't think everything here is as it seems. Check the graves and the trees. This whole place is full of illusion. Is it like these, uh, like logs? One thing is true. Nothing here as it seems. You need to find another clock, but the passage will not be easy. There's a subtunnel corridor that leads to the pinwheel circuit. Find the clock. Everything else is a deception. These clock things really do seem like a big deal. What the heck is that? That's so creepy. Yeah, as uh, he said, unwanted creations. Did that just do 1000 damage? Are these the projectile that the Endo army shoots? Are these like another eye beam? I'm gonna try to find a glitched object and try to go inside of every grave and see if it's a glitched object or not. And let's see this lol bit over here. Let's see. Instant damage. Pop pop 99, boom 999, kaboom. <laughs> Loving the names, but I'm gonna try one. And I guess I'm gonna take him, you, and you, and you. I don't really need the insta-kill that much, because I already do insta-kills. Oh! I found it! Oh! Is that the chest that I'm supposed to be... ...getting? I can't get both of these? That's... weird. And let's try to kill this one. 
because we've gotten so much stronger from uh, that last battle. So let's see if we can kill at least one glitch. We did it! That 1000 damage thing is so OP. Like, whoa, this... A new challenger has appeared. Entho plush. Are all of these... Uh, yeah, and screw is also too OP. Are these uh, glitch uh, characters are only going to be Endo? Let's see. Endo plush, neon wall, eye beam, and water hose too. His attacks are not very useful because eye beam, I have multiple mounts in Endo army. And the neon wall, I already have it activated. And water hose, I already have unscrew, which is way better. Yeah, I'm not gonna take him. Wait, can we in the, uh, in the finale of the game, can we get uh, Fredbear as a character? That would be so cool. I wonder what his attacks are. Is that the... Yup, this is it. Auto Mimic. What does that mean? A Mimic Ball automatically... Mimic, huh? I don't need the block on screw that much. Let's go back before... I was just about to say let's go back before any glitched object co Did everybody just see that? Did that Mimic Ball uh, uh, give out the Virtual Freddy that we saw before? And did it just mimic the, uh, the attack that I... This is so useful. So, so useful. Alright, this is like the best chap from the beginning. Like, what the heck is that? Look at this, it mimics everything. See, price ball. Another price ball. Like, whoa, this is so cool. Pizza wheel, mimic it. And army, it doesn't mimic the... Imp it does. But uh, it won't have any effect because there's only three that are going to appear. But anyways, block jump scare. This will block the jump scare attack, which I don't really need that much. And you saw right there that there's a secret passage and I want... So that's where it detonates. It gives out 100 damage for every uh, enemy there. This is kind of useful. I wonder what the Kaboom's damage is like. I imagine it would be like 1000 for everything or like 5000. Because like 490 and uh, 999 uh, points are like so much. And as you can see this passage right here, I want to see if I can access it somehow. Like he said, everything is an illusion. What? What are these things that came out of the price ball? Why is everything so weird? So now I can enter this mine? So yeah, this is the mine. And there are two bosses and the lol bit. But these two are marked with the red, which I think is really powerful. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna round the video here. Thank you so, so much for watching. We finished uh, Lily Gear Lake, and we entered the graveyard. And now we're in the deep metal mine. So, thank you everyone so, so much for watching. Uh, leave a comment and uh, subscribe and like on what should I, and what Minecraft map should I do next. Uh, goodbye guys and see you next day. Please save.